351. Eddie, hello. Good morning, everybody. We're just getting set up. Just got out here to the spot. The water is a little bit higher than I would have liked. Because uh, usually I'm down there already where that water is. But uh, right up to where that bush is, I'll be casting from down there. Got about 10 or 15 feet on that bank, but not today. So I'm up here on the hill. Going to be casting a bit further. Hopefully, uh, we'll get on them. Let me get my rod set up, and then we're going to start right away, everybody. Let's get them out there. Actually, I think I need to retie a whole rig. That's all right. We got all day today. Let me get one bait rod out there. Just the way that it is. With a one ounce sinker. The water doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, it'll hold. Meanwhile, I, I tie my other rod up. We're going to be playing the guessing game today, everybody. Guessing numbers. I tried to uh, figure something else out. Uh, I didn't have time, and honestly, to mess around with all the other uh, programs that they have. So uh, we're going to be guessing numbers today. I was thinking probably even guess guess the weight of a fish for one of the bigger prizes. So we're going to have to get on some fish first. get a piece of chicken in there just because I haven't uh, done chicken in a while just to see what happens. Got some chicken breast that's been marinating and chicken liver. Chicken liver blood for all night. Let's see what kind of results that brings us. All right, chicken's going in the water. Get my second rod set up. Let's go.
bunch of extra gear with me today. <laughs> Threw it all in there. It's pretty pretty busy week, so got all my stuff just tossed in my bag. It's in there. <laughs> Let me get this rod set up. Get an anchovy or a sardine on here. We've got brand brand new bag of sardines and anchovies. Picked them up yesterday. So hopefully these stripers or big old catfish will be hungry. I got chicken today. I'm hoping to get lucky with some channel cats. Hoping they're hungry for that chicken. I haven't been able to get channel cats out here. Bunch of little bullheads only. Eight and a half foot. I got my eight and a half foot rod just in case I might uh, do some jigging later on with a little micro lure. I've been doing pretty good with uh, sunfish and uh, crappie. I even caught some bass on this tiny little uh, a Berkeley honey worm. Man, that thing is slaying it. So I haven't been able to videotape, so I'm just more moving around and then. My phone doesn't do too good when I'm moving around videotaping, so I haven't been able to capture that action. we go that chicken just got hit come on catfish Another little peck. Come on, take that. Take that chicken.
going with smaller hooks today. Four aught, four aught gamakatsu. These striped bass don't do too good with the big old hooks. So a smaller hooks are better for them. Catfish you definitely want a bigger hook for catfish, but the striped bass mouths are softer and uh, they don't they don't they don't take in as much big baits. So a big hook probably not a good idea for striped bass. Right, let's get that second rod in the water. I'm just trying to pick up that chicken, but they're hesitating. Probably going to be a tiny little uh, a bullhead. <laughs> yeah, it's a bullhead. Oh, this looks hilarious. All the chicken right there on his mouth. He couldn't even eat it. He looks hilarious. Check him out. Look at all the chicken. He ate a mouthful of it.
All right, let's go get this guy back in the water. I could get away with the same piece. Toby, these fish aren't gonna. It's gonna be a little harder to see this take down. That rod's pretty big, eight and a half foot, and I have the rod holder straight up in the air. Actually, let me just check out that view. You guys will definitely be able to hear it. That's not that bad. It's almost all in view. All right, welcome everybody. Welcome in. Today we're having my 500 subscriber celebration. Got some awesome giveaways for everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Just got the bait in the water. Now we're just gonna. Wait on those fish me while we give out some awesome prices. Who was up in here today? Pontoon Jody, hello. Thank you very much. Mr. Tooley, hello. Eric B. Welcome, welcome everybody. Eddie, hello. The Bud Files, good morning. Glad to have you all in here. We're about to get started, everybody. Danimos Creations and Adventures. Congrats on 500, bro. Yep. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you dropping in at work. Appreciate all your support, man. Blistering Barnacles Adventures, hello. Let's go, let's go, everybody. We're, we're here, Miss, Miss Kayak Seven Seas, welcome in. Welcome in, we're celebrating my 500 subscribers. Today, all of you, appreciate all of you very much. We're gonna do some fishing, we're gonna do some giveaways. Here we go, Brandon's Outdoor Adventures, 351 Cleveland. Welcome in, everybody, welcome in. Hot Mess Fishing, Elijah, thank you very much. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. All right. We're going to get it started right away. Since uh, we already got the skunk out, Chris Everett in the house, everybody. Let's get it started right away. Let me uh, go ahead and bring out the first giveaway. We got chicken and we got anchovies in the water. I am thinking about because the water is pretty high. I don't know how the fishing is going to be here. So maybe in an hour, maybe in two hours, I will move spots and I do some different type of fishing. Maybe put in a carp rod. Meanwhile, I throw in some micro lures for some sunfish. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Here we go, everybody. I'm going to start you off with. Since I also just threw mine on. Bam, pair of camo sunglasses, everybody. Fishing sunglasses, check out that view you're gonna get. Something like that. 
All right, here we go, camel fishing sunglasses. These are it. They are from Ozark Trail. I do use uh, one of these pairs, and let me tell you, it, they're pretty good. I mean, you could look at the water, you can see the fishies in the water. Here we go. Daiwa rod's just getting hit. This is gonna be it for the Ozark camel sunglasses. You're gonna pick a number. Do we have a mod in here? If not, I will have to make somebody mod. Yes, we do. All right, awesome. All right, since there's only five, pick a number between a one and 20, everybody. As soon as a mod, a mod out, if I can have a mod, just go ahead and drop start. Pick a number from one through 20 for those camo glasses. Meanwhile, reel in that fish. And let me go and write my number down, actually. I don't have it yet. So let's go ahead and pick your number. One through 20, everybody. For the camo sunglasses, I'm just gonna write on here. Camo sunglasses. All right, one through twenty. I already picked my number. Right here in front of you guys, so you don't see I'm cheating. <laughs> All
Randall Rhino, hello, good morning. Go ahead and drop your numbers, uh, one through 20, everybody. One through 20 for a pair of camo fishing sunglasses. As soon as we get a good hit, we're gonna give it away on the next hit, as soon as those bells ring. Come on fish, they're waiting on you. Hope everybody's doing real good out there. I had a very long week of work, which is always a good thing because as long as I'm working, I can keep fishing and leave it, living this lifestyle. Oh, come on, chicken. The short rod's got chicken, the longer rod has uh, anchovies. I think they're liking chicken today. It's been a while since I put chicken in these waters. I don't think my guides are straight on that other stick. I kind of did it in the dark. Oh, we'll have to do. <laughs> well, we just got a hit on that stick, so here we go. Ready for the giveaway, everyone. I hope you all dropped your numbers. Hope everybody got their numbers in. We're gonna give it one more minute just in case, uh, just in case anybody didn't get your numbers in. Oh, nice take. Oh, I think I missed it. Yeah. Today. All right, man, this guy spit it out. He spit out that chicken. That was that, that felt like a catfish. Let's go back in there. Come on, channel cat. This one probably took my anchovy for sure. Every time those anchovies get hit, it's either they get they're gonna get hooked or they're gonna take your bait. Chicken's got a chance of staying on there. Yeah, this, all this dirt's breaking, breaking down beneath my feet. <laughs> so, hopefully I don't uh, go down in a mudslide or something down there. I'll be on here and we'll reveal, reveal the winner for you. Right, here we go. Here we go. The winner is. Whoa. So yeah, man, it's, it's tough out here. All my all my numbers are gonna be kind of like related to my gear, anything in my channel, the fish that I catch, their weights, their measurements, stuff like that. So the first number. 
Crazy. For camo sunglasses, 12. I use 12 pound line right now on both these rods, 12 pound line, so I'm number 12. They're loving that chicken. Number 12, everybody. I went down from 20 pound to 12 line, 12 pound line, that's pretty good. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's working, it's working out. We know who the winner is. Definitely got to guess the correct number, so if nobody gets it, we will do it again. Chris! Is that Chris Everett? All right, yep. If the mods say it's Chris, then Chris won. Awesome. So it's going to be uh, catching them fish at gmail.com. My name is Sera Sanchez. That's probably that's the name associated with my email, my real name, Sera Sanchez. So that's probably that'll that sh that'll pop out because I know I've sent some emails and people are like, "Well, I didn't get your email, but they got a Sera Sanchez email." That's me. <laughs> it should say catching them fish on there still, and I it should have my uh, catfish picture on there. The one for my channel. It's all the same uh, account. So yeah, catching them fish at gmail.com. Go ahead, send me your info, Chris. I'm gonna write your name down right here. Make sure I don't mix anything up. You got the camo, camo sunglasses, all right? The camo sunglasses. Come on, fishies. The water's pretty calm today. How's the water look on you guys' picture? It looks real nice. Almost makes you kind of want to go out and swim, but it's not safe out here. This river is deep. It runs fast, and it's very cold right now because of all that snow melt. So we actually have a, a much uh, stronger current flowing right now. Pretty dangerous to be out there, but whoa, here we go. Nice takedown. Oh, yeah, this is a striper. Oh, this is a striper. Oh, he's got some weight on it. Woo, he's taking line. <laughs> Woo, yeah, he's still way out there. He's jumping. He's jumping. <laughs> Woo gonna be a oh he's pulling he doesn't want to come in check him out check him out he's about to jump he, here he comes he's gonna jump there he goes <laughs> here he goes again Woo! oh that's a nice one he's got the chicken in his mouth oh <gasps> yeah it's a channel catfish <laughs> My first one of the year at the river. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, kitty. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, he's being feisty, guys. all beat up yeah Woo! <laughs> it looks like he just got out of himself out of the spawn or something man he's not that bad he's just a little skinny let's weigh him all right guys the next giveaway is going to be for a shirt catching them fish shirt guess the weight guess the weight all right i'm going to measure his length for you so whoever gets the correct weight, pounds and ounces, you get a catching them fish catfish shirt. Which I think is proper. For my first catfish out, out at the main river. I've been chasing these guys all year. Switched it up to chicken and bam, there he is. That's, that's a reason why we use chicken, huh? So yeah, go ahead, uh, 
let me measure them for you just in case you guys want to get a better uh, estimate of the weight he's he's a little skinny so don't get fooled he's a little skinny we're catching them fish sure everybody for this kind right here that i'm wearing catching them fish shirt <laughs> Of course, it's not going to be a super proper S measurement, just to give you an idea. He's at 18 inches, guys, 19 inches. Channel cat, 19 inches. He's a little skinny. Guess his weight. <laughs> All right, start dropping them because uh, I'm going to weigh. I'm going to get them back in the water. Start guessing those weights. I'm going to start weighing him already, guys. So drop your numbers. Uh, pounds and ounces. You all get one chance at this and then then we'll do something else because if you don't get it right you know the fish is going back in everybody got their guesses pounds and ounces i'll give it give it a little bit longer because don't want to keep them out of the water for too long pounds and ounces guys here we go he's he's getting measured where's my fish great I turn it on with my fish grip on there that way you don't gotta zero it or anything see it's on zero here we go guys He's gonna be three pounds exactly. Three pounds, yo. Three pounds exactly. Check that out. Three pounds exactly. Three pounds, three eighths of an ounce, but that don't count. Three pounder exactly, yo. Yeah, I mean he, he's he's a little skinny, but he's nice. Three pounder going back in. First channel cat of the uh, year. Let me just focus for a little screenshot later on. I've been chasing these guys all year, yo. It's a good sign they're back on chicken. Woo! <laughs> ah, he bit me up good. He was so mad. He was so mad that I didn't let him have that chicken. Three pounds, exactly. My first channel cat out at the open river all year. Man, it's been tough with these kitties. Let's see if we can get on them again. That felt awesome. We're going to switch this piece of chicken. Yeah, if nobody I got it exactly, then that shirt's still up on the run. You know, if we get another channel cat, you get another chance. I thought it was a striper though. It, it, it ran. He was running. He was taking line. It was awesome. Just all the way up until this last moment when I saw his big old catfish head. I was like, oh yeah, that's a channel. Felt so good. First channel cat of the whole year. It's been it's late into the year. I mean, I caught him at the pay lake, but that's different. They put them in there.
That was awesome. Woo! Y'all got to get out here and fish it. Got to get out here and chase these kitties. Thank you, thank you. So who got it? Mr. Tully got three pounds, seven ounces. Did anybody get three pounds exact? If not, we'll just, uh, we got to do it again on the next fish. Lex, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. All right, Jody, thank you. Have a good time out there. Hope you catch on those big old flatheads, Jody. CVA, what's up, bro? We just gave everything away, man. Unfortunately, you just missed it. But I did catch a channel cat, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> just kidding, man. You made it just in time. I don't think anybody got the catfish shirt, shirt so uh, yeah. So it's still, it's still in the run, everybody. We're waiting on another bite. As soon as a striper or a catfish gets hooked, you got to guess the weight for the shirt. There's a striped bass shirt I'm giving out and a catfish shirt. Just got my first river channel cat of the year, CVA, on a piece of chicken, a little three pounder. I have my donuts in my pocket, they're all crushed up. I'm gonna snack on them real quick while I wait on a bite. <laughs> Sugar don't, oh, there we go, that chicken again. Little rod's got chicken, uh, the big rod's got an anchovy. Dude, that chicken's been getting hit constantly. And then it looks like another catfish bite. Picked up that fresh chicken yesterday. I marinated in uh, chicken livers overnight, and that's all I did to it. Diced it up this morning and I put it in the water. And it's getting hit. Nothing special, no garlic, no seasoning, no flavors of anything. Just put it in the chicken liver overnight and diced it up. I was going to add strawberry gar uh, jello, but I, I haven't had luck lately with any flavoring or anything. So I was, you know, think I'm just going to run it plain. Sometimes they like just the, uh, just that chicken. That's what they want. Sometimes they don't want anything sweet. I think I've been overdoing it with that strawberry jello. I uh, turned that chicken into like a candy almost sometimes. That was a good hit, CBA. He was running, man. He took a lot of line. I got my 12-pound uh, line on there now, so I kind of got to let him run. It was it was nice. I thought it was a striper for a bit. He, he actually took off for took off on a uh, good amount of line, man. I think I dropped my glasses somewhere over there. No.
eight foot of rods getting nibbled. I'm just waiting for it to go down. That thing is gonna be awesome when it gets taken down. It's on a it's on a weird rod holder though. I I don't trust that rod holder too much. It's got only like uh, like four inches into the ground. I and mean, if that catfish would have hit this rod, I'm pretty sure he would have uh, would have pulled it right out. Here it goes. Oh, line went slack. <coughs> I think that one got picked up. <laughs> they look <laughs> they look hilarious when they're swimming with that big old chunk of chicken outside of their mouth yeah i forgot i switched it up i put chicken on here too what is it? Man, these guys got a lot of energy you gotta be careful with these little stripers too man when they're jumping around like that they have spikes all over their body and those things break off on your hand all of these are spikes and right here on the plate they have a spike that fin this one right here all of them they all have spikes so they'll, they'll they'll run up to their prey fish and they'll hit them with their head right here and they'll injure them so these are actually weapons and they will break off in your hand and it's just it's, it's irritating later on when you're picking them out <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't think it about it at first. I didn't think stripers had a lot of, of them, but they do. So be careful when you handle these little ones and they're jumping around. Get them in the water. Like, yeah, that one was too small for us to guess the weight or anything. Well, we we might even do just the, the inches. Uh, guess the inches on the length of the striper. Right. We need to get a much better one.
Pollock Experience. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Joy Stewart, good morning. Good morning to everybody. Thank you for being here. We're going to start with the giveaways uh, just as soon as we get another hit. So for the shirt and the catfish, uh, catfish shirt and the striped bass shirt, what I'm doing is when, I'm, uh, when I catch one of these, everyone's going to have to either guess the weight or the measurement of it. If it's a good size striper, we'll just uh, get it in inches. And then you can get a shirt like that and we're also going to just do the guessing the numbers for the other giveaways everybody thank you very much for joining me i am celebrating my 500 subscribers today i appreciate all of you here we go here we go everybody doing pretty good today on chickens they seem to be liking the chicken it's uh, been a while since i actually used plain chicken so it's always good to switch it up
Mount fishies. <laughs> well, while we wait on that bite, let's give away some stickers. Emily, hello, thank you for being here. J Dog's gone fishing is in the house, everybody. Hello, J Dog, thank you for being here, everybody. We're gonna get on with some cool, cool stickers. Here we go. For everybody that's joining us, we gave away a pair of sunglasses already. Chris Everett was the lucky winner. Any fin is possible. Hello, how's it going? Thank you for being here. Here we go, everybody. Check it out. Got a pack of pretty colorful awesome stickers let's give some away we'll go ahead and just start off right away with the first one it's a pretty nice looking bass some guy on the boat fishing it well that's not good that's still not good <laughs> yeah let's try that again there you go So you're gonna get that one. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna give a few. It's gonna be a sticker pack. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get some of my channel stickers. And we're gonna go ahead and just write right off the back. The second one too. You get both of those. And then some of my channel stickers. Probably two more. So just a small sticker pack. Here we go. They're pretty colorful, pretty cool looking. You're gonna guess a number. We got eight people in here. Uh, we'll go up to 30 now. <clears throat> guess a number from uh, one through 30. So a mod can just go ahead and drop start, and everybody can drop your numbers. You gotta guess the correct number for one through 30 for a sticker pack. We'll go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna check up my bait. bunch of boils popping up everywhere. I think they're striper boils. Makes me want to throw a top water or something. They're over here. They're over here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're, they're popping up everywhere. All those little boils. Yeah, oh yeah, over here. That's definitely striper feeding up there. So you guys, I'm going to write that
that number down. I'm not going to go back there yet. One through 30. Get us get out of this screen. I hit and the line went slack. Get over there. I'm probably gonna have to move spots. Yeah, sorry everybody. Just got disconnected. It's not good. I was out here out testing the signal the other day and uh, everything went well. That's why I picked this spot. I just got disconnected. I'm gonna, yeah, we're back. Just got disconnected, everybody. I lost my signal. I don't know what happened. Like I said, I was just out here the other day testing this spot. It was pretty good, so that's why I picked it. And it's letting me down today. <clears throat> so we're going to give it a few minutes for uh, hopefully everybody will come back. If it does happen again, we'll just uh, I'll, I'll pack up and move over to a move over a little bit closer. Hopefully, everybody will be able to find their way back. Don R, thank you for being here. Randall, welcome back. All right, we've got four people back. Hopefully everybody will find their way. Uh, we'll find this live stream. I don't know if you gotta go out of that one that froze or come back in we have a few minutes everybody we're gonna redo that uh that giveaway for the sticker pack we're gonna redo it i don't know if uh, everybody got to pick their numbers if you did you could just go ahead and pick again but we're gonna we're gonna wait a bit give everybody some time to come back in
right well we're gonna go for it everybody we're gonna redo the sticker pack everybody go ahead and uh, pick numbers from uh, one one through thirty for a sticker pack everybody One through 30, everybody, you're gonna get two of these and uh, some of my channel stickers. Pick a number, one through 30. Come on, catfish. Uh -oh. Here we go, here we go. That's an anchovy right there. inches on this guy go ahead and uh we're still gonna do the stickers so let's do the stickers real quick <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do the shirt whoever guesses the inches on this guy so first let's do the stickers hopefully, hopefully you guys dropped your numbers so we gotta do this quick because we got this guy out of the water My number was number two for the uh, sticker. So nobody got number two, then we're gonna move it along. I don't see a number two. So yeah, I picked number two because that's the amount of rods we're allowed to use out here. Look at that. Right there, I picked number two. We're gonna move it along everybody if you got number two go ahead and just uh, keep track of it we'll get back to it we're gonna measure this one this is for a catching them fish shirt this kind right here that i'm wearing with the catfish logo uh you'll get to pick pick your color and i'll get through that with you on an email because i gotta check what colors are available but you, you you get to pick your color so we're gonna measure him uh in inches so go ahead and guess whoever guesses the right right amount of inches down to uh, halves inches and halves just in case he's like a half inch we'll go ahead and uh, you get the winner you ain't got to be excited but if it's you know right on the half then yeah you got to get that just in case you're not you know too good on your measurements go ahead and guess everybody we're gonna give it just a quick minute since we're catching them fish sure Right 
right, drop your numbers, drop your numbers. How many inches do you think this fish is? We're catching them fish shirt. We'll give it 15 seconds. All right, we're measuring them, everybody. We're measuring them. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, everybody. Twelve and a half inches. That's what my measurement came up to be. Look. Yep. Gotta get him back in the water. He's not happy. Twelve and a half inches, everybody. Good bite before he took off. <laughs> nice street taco, huh? Yep. Yeah, I don't think anybody got it. It was 12.5, 12 and a half inches. Alright, let's keep on fishing. <clears throat> that was on a chunk of anchovy right there. The chicken hasn't got hit now. It might be a change in their, their taste in the afternoon, who knows. <laughs> Not breakfast time anymore for them. This is a frozen anchovy in there. I don't lose signal again. I got a lot of frozen bait I want to use up before I move spots. That's if I move.
Oh, yeah. I don't know why I even bothered putting the bell on there. Hopefully I haven't lost signal again. my anchovies as usual.
the striper to get that measurement. Yeah, Fresno, come on out here, man. Let's fish it. Twelve awesome viewers in the house. Thank you very much. Appreciate you all. Let's go ahead and get on with the giveaway. Change their mind or they took my bait.
before I'm getting away with the one ounce coin sinker. Everybody, I usually go with two ounces, but uh, one ounce coin sinker is getting the job done today. The water is pretty calm. getting hit anymore. Oh, there we go. Yep, they're loving the anchovies right now. 